girls, today is day eight of unit six to market to market. And let's see, Curiosity has brought something for us today. Hmm, this is a paper, but do you know what kind of paper it is? Do you know what this is called? There's different food on it with prices. Have you ever seen one of these that come in your newspaper? Hmm, looks like some yummy stuff in there. Well, Curiosity has brought us what is called an advertisement. How is an advertisement like this helpful before you go to the store? Do you know how it's helpful before you go to the store? Well, the store uses this advertisement to show you the things they sell. They also show you things that are on sale or on special. I will look to see if anything I want to buy is in this advertisement or on sale for today. That way, when I go to the store, I'll know just what I want to buy. One day, the advertisement said I could buy six cans of my favorite food and I could get one for free. That was really special. We're going to watch a video now called Where Does Food Come From? Where does food come from before it ends up on your dinner plate? These apples were grown in an orchard. These beans were grown on a farm. These tomatoes were grown in a garden in someone's backyard. This fish was caught way out in the ocean, then shipped to a grocery store. This bread was made from flour that came from wheat grown on a farm. Our food comes from lots of places. Some comes from way across the country. Some from a nearby farm. Some from a garden in your backyard. Our wonderful word today is advertisement. An advertisement is something that tells us what is for sale, how much it costs, and where we can buy it. Curiosity brought an advertisement from the grocery store that shows some of the things that the store sells. Advertisement. An advertisement is a notice that stores and other companies put in a newspaper or on a poster or on radio or television to tell you about things you can buy or an event you can go to. The bear sees an advertisement that says you can buy fish at a special low price today at the food market. She is very excited. Ooh. Okay, let's look over at our daily message to see if our wonderful word advertisement is in the daily message today. We can use an advertisement to help us shop. Listen one more time for our wonderful word advertisement. We can use an advertisement to help us shop. Did you hear the wonderful word advertisement in our daily message today? You sure did. It is right here. It's a long word. Very good. Advertisement. Okay, we have been working on this letter this week. Letter I. And letter I has two sounds. I, 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 I. Let's look to see if we can find letter I in our daily message. Is it in the word we? No. The word can? No. Use? No. An? No. How about our wonderful word, very long, advertisement? That's right, it's right there. I'm gonna underline it, it is lowercase. To help us shop. Hmm. So how many times did we find the letter I in our daily message today? That's right, just one time we found the letter I. Let's go over a couple words that start with I. How about 
I say insect. You say. I say I, I, insect. You say. I say insect. You say. How about I say icicles. You say. I say I, I, icicles. You say. I say icicles. You say. Great job. Alphabet characters, letter I. And now it's time for those crazy alphabet dancers. And here is someone dancing around in a crazy way. What is he going to do? I think, oh, there's someone here, someone else running around. Now what is she going to do? They have just formed a lowercase I. Very good. Let's listen to our rhyme, Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet sat on a puppet eating her curds and whey. Down came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Practice to see if you can say our rhyme for this week all by yourself. We're going to move right into our math moments and count with curiosity from 1 to 18. Count along with me. Let's count to number 18. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Our video pictograph what's your favorite ice cream and I want you to be thinking about what your favorite flavor of ice cream is too what kind of ice cream do you think this group of kids likes the best if I ask the kids one at a time what their favorite flavor is and sort all their answers on a chart I can find out what kind of ice cream the whole group likes best what's your favorite Tune in tomorrow for day nine. Bye, guys.